In this video, we look at the RAM Structural System V8i Release 14 and the information shared from the RAM Structural System database with RAM Frame. The first program we'll look at is the RAM Manager program of the RAM Structural System. In RAM Manager, you're able to start new databases and open, save, or close existing databases. Program defaults can be defined, and general criteria for all the analysis and design modules can be set. RAM Manager is also the program that must be used to access all analysis and design modules. Here we open an existing database using RAM Manager. Also, you can see all of the design module status is up to date and able to be opened. Next we look at RAM Modeler. In RAM Modeler, all of the seal, concrete, and other material beams, columns, braces, and wall members of the model are defined. Members are able to be defined as gravity only or lateral frame members. Deck type, one-way versus two-way, and deck orientation will be defined. Also, gravity, dead, live, storage, roof, and snow loads can also be defined. Loads are able to be placed as area, line, and point loads in the model. In RAM Modeler, we first review the floor types used in this model. Next, we review a 3D view of the model. And then we review the loading defined on each of the floors of the model. In the RAM frame module, the lateral members will be used from the RAM modeler. The gravity loading on the lateral members will be taken from the RAM gravity analysis and reactions from gravity only members apply to lateral members. The results of the lateral load analysis performed by RAM frame will be stored in the RAM structural system database for the other modules use. In RAM frame, in the analysis mode, analysis criteria must first be defined, then lateral load cases created and analyzed. The load case analysis results can then be used for generated or custom load combinations. Load combination results can then be viewed on screen or a report can be created. In the steel mode, standard steel code checks will be performed for the steel members by selecting a code, creating load combinations, and defining criteria. Additional special seismic code checks can also be performed by selecting a seismic steel code, creating seismic load combinations, defining criteria, and defining frame types for all the lateral members to be code checked. Try saying that three times. Finally, in the drift control mode, load cases are coupled with a virtual load case and analyzed to indicate critical members in the building's lateral load performance. In the RAM structural system, we have six unique modules and three unique analyses, which are specialized to capture the issues that are significant to the particular material and types of members being analyzed and designed. All of the modules of the RAM structural system are fully integrated by sharing information to produce a complete building design.